Hello, uh, welcome to uh, Bruce's Art Studio. Uh, today we're going to paint a bottle of wine. It's only going to take about 10 minutes. Uh, I prepared my canvas. Uh, it's a black uh, canvas with a touch of linseed oil scrubbed into it. And now I'm painting a Viridian Green as the first layer of paint. We're going to create an exciting, exploding uh, type of background. Uh, the second color that I'm going to put on this is going to be a CAD, a CAD yellow light. You see how this explodes? Viridian green first, and then your yellow, like so. Just explodes. Beautiful, beautiful color of green. All I'm doing is flat brush and little circles, like so. Next, I'm going to scrub these colors together, blending. Now, you can blend with a soft brush and go back and forth, up and down, and get a nice, smooth look to the background. But what I'm going to use is a foliage brush. It's nice and thick, and I'm going to scrub outwards, just lightly touching my canvas, and creating that Nice, smooth look to the background. And just blend it into the back, to the sides. And go down about three quarters of your canvas. At the bottom part, I'm taking a black, just a black, and I'm creating sort of like an area where the table in the bottle, or the bottle is setting on like a table, just black, just back and forth, like so. So now you've prepared your canvas to paint your bottle. The bottle, the color I'm using for the bottle, is going to be an ultramarine blue and a burnt amber. Now that's almost a black uh, if you mix it uh, correctly, and in fact you can actually use when painting this bottle an ivory black. So let's just, uh, oh, let's put the bottle about, about here. Draw the neck, or rather paint the neck. Oh, let's say about to there. Now what you're going to do, you're going to start shaping. Too much paint on my brush, just take a little bit of that off. There's the neck of your bottle. Now, at this stage, before you paint this bottle, you could have allowed the background to dry, then use a white crayon pencil and sketch in your bottle. You sketch it in and you can put exactly what you want without any errors and then paint it. If you free paint, like I'm doing right now, you can create errors that are uncorrectable. But hey, let's try it anyway. Bottle looks a little lopsided, so let's straighten that bottle out. When you're happy with the neck and the top of the bottle, just carry your colors down to where, oh, let's say, top of the table, just a little bit into it, like so. That becomes the length of your bottle. Now, when I'm painting this part of the bottle, I'm using the flat of my brush and I'm just touching it a little bit. I'm allowing the green to show through. Now, 
follow the curve of the top of the bottle when you're painting that area. Now I'm going to allow the light to come from, let's say from the left to the right. So that means the right hand side of the bottle should be painted darker. As you notice, some of that green is showing through. So there's a bottle. Now we're going to simply go ahead and we're going to highlight it. Just use a little white where the top is. And follow the curve of the bottle here. And perhaps another highlight across the back of it. Now what we're going to do, we jump to the shade, the shadow of the bottle. The shadow of the bottle is going to be a marine blue, ultramarine blue, and a crimson with a white. And now we're going to also pull some of the color of the background into the foreground. And we use some of this color also into the bottle itself. So we go to the top part, follow the curve of the bottle. And there you have a simple painting of a dark bottle of wine. Now, like I say, you can refine this by actually sketching this bottle first. It's wet on wet, so you can correct while it's wet. Now, look at your, draw, your painting. Do you think you should have any darks anywhere or lights? Well, let's say we put some darks through here. That's it. There's your bottle. So let's go over quickly what we've done. We started off with a, a black canvas. Now, if you don't have a black canvas, you have a white, just paint it with black gesso and let it dry or black acrylic, let it dry. Then rub a little bit of linseed oil into it. Now, very, very little. You just want enough to get your paint sliding easily. Then when you do the background, you start off with a viridian and you paint the viridian, fill it in, leave the outside a bit black. The second color is cad yellow. Scrub it in a little bit circles and then use a nice soft brush to blend. The bod part is just a black upon black. The bottle itself is an ultramarine blue and a burnt ombre mixture, very dark. And if you haven't got those colors, you can just use an ivory black, that works well. For the shadow, you require an ultramarine blue and a alizarin crimson. 
and that's it. So, uh, for the beginner, this is a, a great painting to start with. Uh, you learn a lot, especially about light, highlighting, shadow, especially that background. Now, I've linked this video to another video using a lizard crimson in that cad yellow light. It really explodes into the painting. You might want to look at that. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Until next time, happy painting.